rugby tackle, man. Hi, guys. How about? Nah, let you have your moment. You've been waiting for this moment. You tell them. Go guys, on. Guys, after five years. Five? Five years. We're moving to Canada. Oh, my God. We are. We are. We are overwhelmed and excited. And cannot wait. It's definitely going to be something for this one. But it's going to be an amazing experience. A new chapter in our life. And we cannot wait. And we're so excited to share it with you. So, so many adventures coming. So many vlogs. So many moments. So many moments of madness like this or boxes being open and closed. The move <laughs> is going to be insane and we cannot wait to share it with you all. Yeah, thank you for being part of our journey from the very beginning. Can't wait. Love you guys. This is the first box that's being shipped out to Canada. I found this service online. It's called Send My Bag. And they're basically, they specialize in relocating people. So they focus on your used clothes, your personal belongings that you're shipping. So these are all my Punjabi suits and some of my jewelry. And this is the test box. So I'm hoping this tape is enough. I know how rough the journey can get. The price is very really reasonable. I'm kind of nervous. But uh, this is the first box that's going out. This house is a complete disaster right now because I have boxes and things and piles everywhere that need to be packed. It's becoming so real. All right, I think we're good on this side. Ah, uh, this is so heavy. Good luck and all the best. So basically, Amin and I are going to Canada in a few days for about two weeks for work and for something else as well. So we're taking as much stuff as we can when we go because we can take two suitcases each and a carry-on. And I'm going to try to do the large Amazon duffel bag that you can get on as a personal item. But you can fit so much stuff in there. So I'm going to try that as well because I want to take some of my books with me. And because they're so heavy, I might as well take them on as a personal item so it's not weighed. I'm just packing my suitcases right now. I've got this hot mess going on over here. I am living in a tornado of clothing, okay? Let me show you how much I've done so far. So basically, I've taken all the stuff already and put in my suitcase. But I'm taking things that I know I haven't touched in like a couple months. So everything else I can still wear. And then things that I haven't worn here, I could just take there. I don't know how he's trying to get all these boxes there in the first place. I ordered the Amazon bag yesterday. It's supposed to come today. So I will show you guys the bag when I get it. And I'll also show you everything that I can get to fit inside that bag. My shoulder's going to be hurting, but it's all good. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. It's, you know... Gotta do what you gotta do, okay? I'm not trying to spend so much money trying to shift all my things. All right, guys, so the bag that I ordered is here. This is like a really nice neutral color and it's not like tacky looking, which I kind of like. And the cool part is in the back, it has like this little slip thing that slides onto your carry-on. This is kind of like the base, the Shea Mitchell brand that she has, or her travel brand, but I mean, it's a little bit cheaper and it came literally the next day and it does extend. So you open it on the way and basically instead of this being a separate pocket, it just increases the size of the entire bag. So like the whole bag, look how, look how much stuff you can fit in this. Okay. And then it comes with a pouch and the pouch is really cute too. Cause I feel like you can put anything here. Like this will be a really good bag for all of my accessories for my computer. Cause I have so many and the bag that I have for that now is way too small. And this is like so much bigger. And this also seems really waterproof as well, which is really cool. So, I mean, bonus, hello. I feel like something like this is so much better when you're traveling, especially when you travel a lot and you travel with a lot of things. Something like this is way better than any other, like I personally feel like, cause I've tried it, like brand name, large bags kind of thing. Because like one, you're scared that they're gonna get dirty. Two, they're honestly not that durable in terms of practicality. And three, the size, you can't even compare it to this. I'm sure you can get something this size, but it's just not flexible. Like it's really stiff, you know? So like this, you could fit so much stuff in here. And then honestly, like you can even put shoes in here and you won't even feel bad about it. My new favorite bag. So I, when I stock this bad boy up, I will show you everything that I fit inside this guy. So I'm currently packing this box. I have like a bunch of Halloween and Christmas decor that I bought that I really love and I want to take because it's expensive. And then random stuff. I have like office supplies here and then these books, like they're table books, which I thought were really cool. This is actually a Vogue book. Like, and I found, look, it's a Vogue book. It has like the olden day remedies in there and everything. It's actually really cool. I found it in Amun's garage with Amun's like mom's old books. And there's like another one down there. But I wanted to show you guys this book, Amin's mom used to use this for recipes. She saved the one recipe that's dad's absolute favorite in here. And it's, um, 
curried fish. And Amen just like, his heart melted when he saw, found this book in the garage when we were clearing it out. And I'm like, you know what? Let's take it with us and let's recreate some of the recipes. And we'll just take this book on along with us on our new journey. I never realized how tedious packing actually is. I feel like because we're moving across countries to another country and our stuff is going across airplanes and stuff like that, things are gonna be handled roughly. So I feel like that's why like everything like in terms of like books and like smaller delicate stuff needs to be bubble wrapped which is very tedious and it's taking a very long time, but you can't rush the process and you don't want anything damaged along the way, especially if like there's water that happens to get on the box or anything. You don't want anything to get damaged. So I'm trying to do the best that I can and hopefully it all goes well. I know the first time when I came to England, like when I made the shift here, I brought everything in suitcases and I did a lot of trips back and forth, but I don't think since Amin and I now have our own home, I don't think we'll be doing a lot of trips back and forth, like as I was doing frequently because all of my stuff was still in Canada kind of thing. And then I didn't have a visa and all that stuff so good morning everyone i hope you're having a beautiful day today i'm gonna go out with the elf hoodie primer for my primer today i have waited for this moment so very patiently for the last four years can't believe four years just like that have already passed i have i don't even know what to say because there's i there's no way to describe the feeling it's bittersweet it's a new chapter for both of us and it's like i'm shy i feel shy for some reason i don't know this is so weird this is so weird i can't believe this is happening this is it's a big a big step for sure. I'm gonna go on with the Basanti VO2 color corrector. So this whole week I've been like getting ready before like to start my day. So like, you know when you go to work, you get ready and then you go to work. But me being home and doing things is my work. So I'm like, I should be getting ready every day for work, right? It makes you feel better. I personally feel like if you're feeling tired and you have yourself put together, you feel awake, you feel better, you feel more productive, you feel like getting things done. So I don't do like a full beat. I do like um, a medium beat. Not even medium. I'd say like between, what would be low beat? Low, medium. In between low beat and medium beat. That's the kind of beat I do. So... It doesn't take long. Guys, I'm all over the place. I fully forgot to apply it here as well. Me, Amin, and Banksy are moving on our own and going on this crazy adventure. There's so much. I feel like that 100K, man, the 100K we hit, it just started a whole start a whole something of adventures to come and i'm so excited to share this new chapter with you guys and i feel like even with you you've seen me go through it all then it was kind of standstill for a little bit but now we're moving on to like another chapter in our life and it's something so exciting to share and the whole process is gonna i know it's gonna be intense but i want to enjoy every moment of this process because i've been wanting this moment for such a long time i would rather go through the missions the headaches the whatever intensity comes with moving especially moving across the ocean i'd rather live with all of that and those struggles and be happy about it because i've been wanting this for such a long time and i'm so grateful that we're able to have this opportunity for me personally it's a big deal it's a big accomplishment it's it's a step into adulthood i feel like i know i'm an adult but like i feel like even a more adult been obsessing over this foundation. It's a CC cream, the ELF Cosmetics Color Correcting Full Coverage Natural Finish CC Cream in medium. Honestly, I feel like this is in between something sheer and something full coverage. My password is about to expire, so I need to go get that. I need to get that renewed because I won't be able to go anywhere. It expires in like two months, so I need to get that done. I'm also wondering, should I do my own password picture? I've seen everybody doing it now, so we gotta do that. And we're just gonna catch up with family and friends and just like take it easy, use it as like a little break from like all the stuff that we've been doing here and it'll be nice i'm excited this trip feels weird because usually when i go back my excitement level is over the roof because i know i'm living in england so i get to go to visit and then i won't be back for a very long time but this time we're going to toronto and then it's like the excitement is not as high because i know i'm going to be back there permanently in a short while so it's still the excitement is still high but it's not as high as it usually is because i know i'm not living there do you know what i mean so yeah so we're going for two weeks i'm going to come back and then literally when we come back it's going to be straight moving things try to create content where i can if there's if there's certain things you guys want to see in terms of moving related things please let me know how i'm getting my things there how i'm getting i'm in things there all the stuff like think i'm learning everything as i go so i can share that with you guys if you are interested going in with the nars concealer and praline i feel like nars concealer is my favorite concealer when it comes to everyday makeup because it's not cakey but it's full coverage which is nice. I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 3.75. I'm doing my makeup in literally the, the world's most laziest way. I have to, my eyebrows, I haven't plucked my eyebrows in the longest time. I've just been like cleaning them a little bit, but I haven't been like doing it properly. I've just been so exhausted. Yesterday I took a nap for like three hours. I was supposed to close my eyes for two minutes, but those two minutes turned into three hours really quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna blend my concealer off my favorite brush. It's the BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy, the A506. It's perfect for 
for your concealer and i feel like real techniques has a similar brush but i really love this one so we are moving with literally nothing we're only moving with our personal belongings like our clothes shoes our bags our work equipment but we're we don't even own a spoon to our name so we're literally gonna be getting everything from scratch we're gonna be shopping for the tiniest thing in the world and it's gonna be so fun because hello your girl loves home shopping I love home stuff i love home diys and home everything and it's i've tried to do what i could here i personally feel like i've done a lot just to like to make my everyday happy in the environment that i'm in right so i did put effort i put in so much effort here like i built a walk-in closet i renovated in my bedroom we built the studio in the back for us to work for from. we've done so much and i'm so proud of us that we've made it work with what we've had and now we get to have like our own little our own little paradise you know so we're gonna be buying everything oh my god there's gonna be so many things from like a broom to a spoon to i don't know spices everything like the tiniest thing you can think of we're probably gonna need to buy it but it's all exciting but it's kind of nice because like now when you buy things you'll buy things accordance to where that thing will have a home in your home i'm the type of person where if i have something every item needs to have a home because i don't like things to be every Everywhere, unless it's supposed to be out it shouldn't be out you know obviously you know i'm using rare beauty blush and joy rare beauty has this new lip stain out i've been seeing it everywhere on tiktok and i'm a sucker for like a lip oil lip stain kind of vibe something that's not too heavy and cakey so i definitely want to try those out if you guys have tried that let me if you have tried any of them let me know and let me know what color you like because i only want to start with one obviously like i have so much makeup and i'm going to give away so many to like all of my friends and family especially before the move as well but i don't want to keep makeup that i'm not using honestly like i'm not a you know a makeup junkie kind of person i'm a you know just share realistic things with you guys kind of person so realistically no one used to own this much makeup at all so i do want to give them better homes and if there's anything expired i want to obviously throw it out use the charlotte tilbury flawless finish powder in two guys i literally need a new one look like do what i can honestly i'm trying not to buy anything before we move in and stuff which is obviously still a long time from now i mean i have so many other brand products that i can use who knows i might even end up liking them again because my skin has changed so much since like four years ago it's not dry it gets really oily now like you can see i guess you can see the shine because i've used like shiny products but it gets really oily now and i mean kind of laughs me because whenever i take a nap and i wake up my face is so oily and slippery so i just want to use what i have before buying more things because i'm going to have to buy a lot of things you know <laughs> we're using mac cosmetics ripe for love blush we use the fenty beauty sun stalker bronzer and Baj and gel and i'm literally just gonna contour my nose with this oh exciting things we're going in for a hair consultation when we go to toronto and um this is gonna be my second hair consultation from the one i went a couple months ago i want to see what she has to say in terms of me changing my hair color and if she can do it or not so that might be a little something new coming along the way as well we are also going to a cottage trip with some of my friends you know my usual gang that i hang out with and what else are we doing i'm gonna watch an arsenal game hang out with family have some of mom's cooking have i had a brown tot in such a long time almost done here it's mascara and some lip liner and i'm good to go we're actually taking a bunch of our stuff this trip to start the process and like not have to pay for extra stuff to ship over so i've already packed up half my makeup you gotta be smart with how you pack these things you know like some of the heavy things you want to put in your carry-on so it doesn't affect the weight of the check-in so like you gotta play around with things like that my all time favorite mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. But yeah, we're going with like six suitcases and then coming back with empty suitcases. And it's going to be like a back and forth thing for a while, but that's what I did when I came here. Curling your lashes makes such a difference. I never used to curl my lashes. And then Royal Lip Liner by MAC. I just mainly just do the edges and apply gloss over it. See, it doesn't take that long. It's very minimal. And now I feel like owning the world. My tiredness is gone. I feel ready to do anything, go anywhere, film anything. I'm good to go, you know? So I thought I was almost unpacking for tuesday but we just decided to bring on one extra suitcase each because i shipped out the first box yesterday and um customs fee kind of was a little so i think it's cheaper for us to take extra suitcases than it is to ship boxes we don't want to ship everything in like a container either because we don't have that many things to ship out in a container do you know what i mean so we're gonna take extra so we're taking six suitcases now let's we'll see what we can fit in them we get to we have to prioritize now what we want to take what we want to donate what we want to you know, leave here or whatever. So now I'm gonna pack another suitcase. So let's go upstairs. <laughs> Mm 
my man last minute is deciding to pack all of his stuff. Listen, all right, I've bare things to do. Got work, taking care of Banksy, and now I'm packing. I do the same things. But man makes it happen. All right, man will make it happen. This I'm is... here to help. I'm going to sit on the floor and help you. Thank you. I You're appreciate welcome. that. All right, let's see if you've done your job correctly, sir. I'm the man of weighing things. Okay, watch this. It's gonna be 23.2 or maybe 22.1. Watch this, ready? It's 24.6. <laughs> How's it got more? All right, mister. Tap, take this down. Guys, we've done all these suitcases. These are all donation clothes that we have here. A pair of boxing gloves too. Maybe someone wants these. And there he goes. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to take that. That's actually underweight. <laughs> Chill. I haven't had Red Bull since the security days, since the days I used to be a bouncer. Cause Red Bull used to be free if you knew, if you knew the homies working behind the bar, you know? Today's the type of day we need Red Bull. Yesterday we got so much stuff done. We've got five out of six suitcases done. We have one more suitcase to get done, which we can't do until Amin's dad comes back tomorrow. And then we do it tomorrow the day before a flight. So that's the last remaining suitcase in the house and we need it. But today we are dropping our poor Banksy off to his favorite trainer because that's who babysits Banksy when we're gone for like a long period of time. He loves it there. She has like an open line area house and then there's other dogs there. She trains dogs, but then she also babysits dogs too, which is amazing. And every time he goes back, his memory kind of gets refreshed again with his training, which is really nice. So we are taking him and dropping him off and we're already getting so sad because we're gonna miss him so much. And then today is also another Arsenal match. So we're going out with a bunch of our friends to go watch the game and to have a little bit of fun before our flight we won't be seeing our friends until we come back so just want to hang out with some good vibes you know Rishi, come here. good boy he's just he's not gonna really do much with it but this is he, he just Aww. sometimes he gets very attached to it yeah, yeah he, 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 he likes Aww. you so much look oh thanks nice. rebecca here rebecca's gonna take care of you rebecca's here where's rebecca rebecca <laughs> Definitely feeling the blues of Banksy not being here. The house feels so empty, but we are home, we are dressed, and we are ready to go out. We are catching the train. I'm trying to take the train as much as I can, you know, before, before I can't. So it's like the only way I've gone around in this country is by train since I can't drive, unfortunately, here. Are you ready for the game? Listen, man. I don't want to be I'm gonna go chain out, yo. Awesome. <laughs> Come, let's go. All right, guys, it is the next day. We have done so much today. I cleaned the whole house, top to bottom, all the floors, ready to go because our flight is tomorrow. But Amin has an exhibition today. Ready. In London, the, day, the night before our flight. KPMG Seat Network. Big up. I'm looking forward to my first yeah. London show. After. I'm excited. Yeah, a little while, man. So. I think this is my first one of yours going. Yeah, I'm that hyped. That makes no sense. I'm hyped, guys. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. You look nice. Thanks, you too. Yeah, I was just waiting for the compliments still. You're just fishing, yo. Listen, man, let me do my thing. You know when you have a doggy, you gotta have mad lip rollers. What have I done wrong? Uh, hold this, man. My dad took your eyebrows off on his Don't take my eyebrows off. Get you a gal. You can lint roll your turban, yo. Good morning, everyone. We are awake and alive and blessed and grateful. Today is a flight. It's 6.30 in the morning. Got some last minute packing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And there's so much to come. This is... I've been waiting for this for like the longest time in the world, honestly. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to stay cool. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.